So I received this message this week about um, opening up a, a center for Christ consciousness. We get so attached to ownership. We get attached to owning homes, owning people, owning our children, owning our ideas, owning our you know inventions, and it doesn't it doesn't belong to any of us. We're all just tuning in, we're all just channeling a specific frequency where that information is coming down. But ultimately it doesn't belong to us. And at the same time, it belongs to all of us. So I received this message this week about um, opening up a, a center for Christ consciousness. And this being uh, like a church, but not for religion. For a way forward to create the solid foundation. For one, to be a center of creativity where people children can go and have all the resources and the tools that they need in order to create whatever it is that they want. I know for me personally with my daughter, my daughter is very creative, very artistic and you know when we go to the store and she says mom can you buy me this paint or this whatever Something for your creativity I it doesn't matter how much it costs. I will always find a way to provide that for you because that's my job as a parent to make sure that her gifts are nurtured and as parents, you know, we don't always have the resource. We don't, it, it, I mean, they lied to us when they told us that we needed to be the sole providers of our children's um, needs being met. I mean, this is where we've gone so wrong because it takes a tribe, it takes a community, it takes a village to raise a child. And we need to start establishing that type of community um, availability. And not just for our children, because how many of us had our gifts nurtured when we were children? So we have a lot of adults that are walking around in a lot of pain, and they have no idea what their purpose is or you know what they're here to do and so they're just doing the same thing and expecting a different result and they're just kind of living their life half alive I see this all the time when people you know want help to um, live their life purpose and like first you have to get in the same building with your higher self and so I got the message this week to come back to Great Falls and to open up a center for Christ consciousness that can be a fundamental pillar in the society where, you know, creation is nurtured and, um, and just a, a place where it's a, it's a sanctuary and having a studio where, you know, if you want to come and make music or make videos or put on plays or, you know, play in a live band or, you know, um, do some kind of art, whatever it is, like we have that space and where healing facilitators and different metaphysical practices have a space to share what they know and, and share their healing techniques and, and where we can study A Course in Miracles and where um, people that are on this path, you know, can come together and gather and, and single mothers have a place where if they are um, needing somewhere safe for their children to go while they go to work or whatever it is family dinners where it's yeah I get that we all come from different biological families but we are a, a family of this community and what I've what I've witnessed so much in this world today is that we are seeing the results of a, a fatherless godless world and that is why you know we are seeing such trials and tribulations and it is so important that we come back together and that that center that that center point that calls us forward 
is the, our connection with God, Source, Creator, the Creator of our soul, and and that Christ mind. And even if you have a different religious belief, ultimately there was still a Creator who created your embodiment. You didn't just appear out of thin air and. And whatever that means to you is, is individualized for you. And, and there's no need for us all to be the same because that is not the purpose or the point. But it is to say that I am you and you are me and we are a family and we're in this together. And, and we need to create a way forward, a solid foundation, a place where, you know, in each city that has these resources, because yes, we have things that split it up, but... Um, the intention gets lost and when the intention is lost I mean basically it's just a space holder like you have you know it's like a daycare center um, adults go to bars you know to let loose and and I want to create a space where you know if, if you want to go dancing if you want to we have that available like where we can gather on a Friday night and it doesn't have to be that we are numbing ourselves out and, and dissociating and, and bypassing from our realities, but instead we are creating a life that we don't need to, that we don't need to cope with. <laughs> and for me, that is um, being around people, sharing, sharing space with people that are on a similar path. And I've heard a lot, you know, um, I didn't understand why I came back to Great Falls a couple of years ago. I mean, they didn't even have a yoga studio when I came back. And um, after, it wasn't even a year that I was here and they were having their first metaphysical fair. So, I mean, the consciousness is shifting. And, it, and people can act like, oh, you know, people aren't about that there. But you know what? They don't know. They don't know that they want it because they've never experienced it. But it's to bring this taste, this this um this this different this new solution this new foundation and and i have no doubt in my mind that once provided a sanctuary once provided a space for for us to co-create this with god that people will come i'm not worried about that i i'm just really hoping that i can get a I guess I'm not hoping how it I guess, takes all of the pieces that I've been getting and it puts it together and yes I want to create an intentional community and yes I want to create you know a sustainable da, 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 but we're not there yet and that's plain and simple we are not there yet we need to put something in place where you know the people that are awakening I mean the people that are awakened and awakening we came here to wake up the sleeping world, so we can't just go and, you know, find land and, and go away from everything that's happening because we're awake and they're not. And no, because we came here to help wake them up. And yes, that doesn't mean that you need to go and knock on everybody's door and try to get them to come to the light. That means that you need to learn how to turn on your own light and allow for the people that desire to come and be in your light to be with you and I got <laughs> yeah and I just keep hearing the time is now it's it, the really it is now um, so yeah I'm, I'm surrendering my ego of, of how I'm going to do this by myself I'm, I'm putting it out there and, and I'm saying that if this speaks to you and you desire to do something similar in, in your neck of the woods, then do it. Take the initiative and, and start to co-create this new way. You know, by purchasing um, a sanctuary, getting sponsorships, um, starting a nonprofit, and and really other people that are getting these messages as well and ask your your team of angels and and put it out there 
not just like put it out in the ethers and then give it to God. Then also ask for what it is that you need and come together with your tribe. I love you guys so much. I can't eat my car.